so what one? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to a place called the Museum of Happiness. Right. Should we go and see if we can make them miserable? Let's, let's do our best. <laughs> My name's Shamash. A very warm welcome to the Museum of Happiness. This is our Museum of Happiness community. Hello. 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 <laughs> I like Shamash. Oh, you can't not like Shamash. The Museum of Happiness is about taking the science of happiness, but making it kind of fun and playful and engaging. Science shows that, you know, when you're feeling happier, we actually live longer too. But it also leads to all sorts of other health benefits. Just to get started, it's nice if everyone kind of introduces themselves. If you could just say something you're passionate about, what you do. Hi, my name's Kush Kanodia. I'm passionate about helping people. I'm a social entrepreneur, so I help a number of charities with a particular focus on disability. It's nice to be in a non-judgmental space. Yes. Yeah. My name's Lou and I like eating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the first activity we're going to do is some mindfulness meditation and some other mindful activities afterwards as well. So have you ever tried mindfulness or meditation? I haven't. I did a, uh, a cacao breathwork ceremony in Thailand, but I think that may have sort of fronted as an orgy. <laughs> In the middle of the mindfulness, um, there was a bin bin emptied. You've got to think of the bin as your negative thoughts. That's the way, yeah. yeah. So you can gently open your eyes. I loved what mindfulness did for some people. It was gorgeous. Very grounding. Very grounding for you? It was very different to what it did to you. <laughs> I'm really horny. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to be practicing some mindful eating now and we're going to use some vegan chocolate lovingly made by Charlie and Laura. Just take one and pass it along. So just noticing, just noticing the weight, weight of the chocolate in your hand, the sense of touch. I want you to close your eyes, take a few breaths, really slowly bring it up towards your nose and ju just noticing at what point you can pick up the scent of the chocolate. To be fair to all our different senses, we've done touch, we've done smell, so now we're going to do hearing. So just bring the... I'm going to try and close to your ear and see if you can hear it. No, I can't hear it's, it. It's, hang on. <laughs> it's saying I'm not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie hit me with bacon. <laughs> so now, now we're going to gradually go for the sense of taste. Noticing the salivation and slowly bringing it up towards your mouth. You can take a bite. Putting the chocolate slowly, gently into our mouths, mm. it felt a little bit sexual. I was like, are we going to smear it on our bodies? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Did you like the chocolate? You didn't, did you? I thought it was all right. Wow. Now just keep it in your mouth. Don't, I know some of you are chewing away. Just noticing <laughs> how it melts in your mouth. Notice the various different flavours. Do you get orange or it's orange? Classic. Oh, I got classic and I would have preferred the... But you know, what you get is what you're supposed to have, namaste. <laughs> <laughs> The next one we're going to do is gratitude. Now, this is another huge one, which just takes a few minutes every day, but actually makes a long-term positive difference. So rather than just saying practice gratitude, we're going to practice a game called gratitude bingo. So what I'm going to do is give you a sheet of paper. And what I'm going to invite you to do is to actually think of four things that you're grateful for. And then have a go at doing a little drawing of that. Russell, yeah. I'm going to put you on my gratitude oh, list. Ah. <laughs> Russell. Are you going to put me on your guys? <laughs> I'm going to invite you to stand up and you're going to move around the room a little bit and go up to other people and just see if they match or not. If they match, you can give it a little tick. Yeah. I've gone yeah. so specific. That's all right. That's all right. I've got uh, Russell. Excellent. He's not on my sheet. Ah, oh, not yet. I'll write him on. Okay. This is an egomaniac, he'll be absolutely <laughs> livid. <laughs> like dog. That's uh, holidays, but nature. Gratitude bingo went badly for me. Is this supposed to be like a mask or...? No, no, looks... no, that's meant to be my girlfriend. OK. <laughs> it's for some reason it looks a bit like it a mask. It does look like a mask. And his answers were so great. And his... And what I had was awful. You've got, both got sun. There you go, yeah, yeah, interesting. What, what do you like about the sun? Well, I was contemplating that without the sun, everything dies within two, three days. 
I was just thinking about sunbathing. You're so much better. God, the sunbathing is, is yeah, blissful. Your answer was so poetic and lovely, and I was just imagining myself getting a tan. <laughs> One of the sayings that we have at the Museum of Happiness is that you can't pour from an empty cup. And so the idea is that it's great being kind to others, but if we're being really harsh and self-critical to ourselves, it's going to make it harder. There was one point where you said, why not give yourself a hug? Just notice that feeling of warmth between your hands and your body. Mm. I can't think of anything worse than giving yourself a hug, but I've got no problem with masturbation. <laughs> Isn't that odd? Yeah. So it's like, I don't want to go to first base, but I'm more than willing to go to fifth base for myself. that is so hatred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What face was that? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> 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 all here. Why don't we have a group hug to express our gratitude for each other? No, when he said go and hug everyone, I yeah. thought it was individual hugs. On the one earth, one Thank family. Oh, to, oh, I thought it's individually. <laughs> I just want to hear him. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming along. Ooh. Really appreciate it. Ta -ta, ta -ta. I love the hug. Are you a group hugger? Would I like it to be in the nudi? Maybe next week. OK. <laughs>the reason I wanted to do this with John is because I can't think of anybody in the world who likes being touched less than you. You described me once as one hug away from a breakdown. I don't know if you remember that, but it stayed with me. Ah. Would I do that? I just can't think of a world in which I would touch someone. But you've got a daughter. I, I think I'm tactile with my daughter. Yeah. But then I think maybe I'm not, and maybe a cuddle therapist would say, this is why your daughter will be an alcoholic in 20 years, because you think you're hugging her, whereas actually, even putting the gloves on is weird for a father. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Great to meet you. Nice Hi. to meet you. I'm Russell. Hi. Please, have a seat here. Lovely. Hi. This is John. John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Apparently, being touched releases stress, but I can't see that, because surely it adds stress. Yeah. If a stranger kind of comes up to you and goes, feel better now, don't you? Like, and it's that, isn't it? It's just, how are you... You're not happy, are you? No. So why do people do this? It's a very meditative experience, definitely, because when you are cuddled or hold, uh, you can close your eyes and completely unwind in your mind and I just do. enjoy the space. Do you space. think? Also, it decreases adrenaline levels in your body, which is the main reason for, for feeling stressed. Yeah, yeah. My fear is that I'll start crying and something will come out and I can go from crying to fighting very quickly. <laughs> Think, let's let's do the cuddles now and let's seek some professional yeah. for, the, for the sentence. As soon as I cry, I get fighty. Very quickly. <laughs> right, shall I go first? Yeah, you go first. Oh, I'll, you go. Go. I'll go and wait. Good luck. See you. Have a nice. Thank you, John. How was that? I feel like you came out more upset than I did. For me, the strangest bit about it was the stood-up hug. Okay, you let me know if you feel comfortable. Okay. Sure. Alright. So we're hugging like that. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. can hug. All fine? Uh, yeah, that's fine. And you can try God, to just relax. It feels relax. weird, doesn't it? Isn't it weird? <laughs> do you mind if I do this, like a little bit stroking in your back? No. That's fine? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Well, that first one was the worst one. Yeah. Stood, Straight in there. Stood up. <laughs> right. So, okay, so we hug like this. Yeah, cute. And you can close your eyes again. I was so tense. Yeah. My back was aching from keeping my groin at, a, at what I felt was a respectful distance during that first hug. Yeah, yeah. And I never quite recovered from that. How are you feeling? Is this like okay? You're a little bit uncomfortable. Um, it's slightly uncomfortable. It's, slightly it's getting uncomfortable. it's getting okay. less. Yeah. Can I squeeze you? Yes. <laughs> Did she make a little noise when she squeezed you tight? Let's squeeze. Mm. Oh, yeah. Is that? I think if you were cuddled right, you'd get all manner of noises out of you. I'd have to watch it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, did I? Yeah. You feel your heart pressed against someone else's. Fuck, that freaked me out. Do you I know what I mean? was working so much harder than I think you were not to press my gut against her. I could barely breathe anyway. <laughs> well, you, you're your classic fat thin. You look thin. Oh, yeah. But you're deceptive. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing seven bulldog clips at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you can go maybe there. When she sat down, legs akimbo, 
I sat opposite her legs akimbo, and I thought I was supposed to shuffle forward. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dock him. Yes. Actually, yeah. opposite around. That oh. way, yes. Then I was like, oh, good. That's much less awkward. And actually, I quite liked the leaning back, because the cushion was there. If you didn't have a cushion, I think that's different. How are you feeling now? Yeah, I like this. This is comfortable. Yeah? I'm glad. Well, I'm amazed you've got a cushion. Oh, there was no talk cushion. of cushion for me. About she seven just... or eight cushions, and she was in a full hazmat suit. She had the kind of moves that we've both got on dogs. She knew exactly where to touch us. She sees you as a pug, she sees me as a chihuahua, and she knows exactly what these, what these fools need doing. I instantly relaxed when we started talking more. If you watch TV, what shows would you watch? Mostly <laughs> what I watch is Scandinavian horrific mm. crimes. No way. So mm. it's a wonder I trust you at all, to be honest. Yeah. Given what I've seen other people do. <laughs> If you don't mind, I put my hand over it. Yes. Like right here. I, yep. The lying down bit, I really enjoyed. I kind of put my leg here. Yep. That's good. I had it like that in, in, you know, sort of a headlock. Did you have the arm around the head? Yeah. Oh. And uh, put your back over there, exactly. And put your head there, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And uh, if you feel comfortable, you can stay that way. Or Where would I put my hands? Your hands, if I can actually. <laughs> Probably not like that. <laughs> I like how you are kind of a to them. You can just. Uh, uh, you can put them wherever you feel comfortable. Like yeah. there, that's fine, that's yeah. fine. When she put her leg over, like that is a move I've only ever had done in a bed with a woman who has just had an awful time. It feels like you've got a bum deal there, but huh? luckily I'm wearing deodorant. <laughs> so it's, it's all fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm comfortable, but you are sure? you comfortable? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. I got so panicked, I just... I started just talking. If you could eat anybody, who would you eat? Eat anybody? Yeah. Are you talking about human beings? I am, yeah. Oh this, my... is, this is all hypothetical. Do I, do I have to respond to this question? I'm just saying, uh, otherwise you're going to die. Yeah. I pushed her on this. I said, you're on an island. Who would you eat? Tom Daly. Oh. <laughs> you tell me he doesn't look delicious. I don't want a George Foreman grill. Got a George Foreman on the island, have you? It's starting to look like you've planned this. <laughs> Shall we do the closing hug? Yes. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Thank you very Thank much. You, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How, how do you feel now? Just to check everything is all right. I feel more relaxed. I'm yeah, glad. I definitely feel more okay. relaxed than at the beginning. Yeah. So Have a good day. Right. Yeah. And you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. As a man who's uncomfortable with physical contact, it feels a bit like a parachute jump. Like I'm glad I've done it. It made me think. If you could be like this in your real life with your loved ones, it would be better. I will make an effort to be more tactile with my wife because um, I think she needs it more than I do. But when she says to me, oh, you're making an effort, what happened? And I say, a Finnish woman touched me up for 45 minutes and I realised I've been neglecting you. We'll probably have a little dip after that, I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah. And then we'll have to claw it back with what I imagine will be some regular marriage therapy. Who's this dude? Who? Oh. Right. I'm Miss Karantanen. Greetings from Helsinki. Finland is the happiest country in the world, and to keep us well in the cold and dark winter months, we have a philosophy called Kalsari Kenni. I've written a book on it. Translated into English, it's called Pants Drunk. Pants Drunk is about getting drunk at home, in your underwear, with no intention to go out. With you are all the things you need to have a great night in. By the end, you should be feeling all the better for it. Enjoy. Okay. Well, I like that gesture at the end. The first thing that strikes me about Karasani, Karasada Kali yeah. is, uh, I mean, I've been doing it my whole adult life. Yeah, it feels very easy. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't feel the finished thing. To get pissed in your underwear on your own and then not go around. Yeah, it'd be the equivalent of me doing a book in this country called Going to the Pub to Get Shit Fat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there he is. There he comes. Relaxing pants drunk activities can include singing, belching, game playing, flatulating, laser and masturbating, or even <laughs> screaming into a pillow. I don't need to do all of those things. That's how Bjork writes her album. Right? <laughs> <laughs>
She's not finished. Is she finished? Yeah. I don't even know if she's finished. She does anyway. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> just, that makes such sense with Bjork. Yeah. Because during every... Just when I, you get into a song of Bjork, every now and again she just starts screaming. Yeah, exactly. And that's obviously the point of climax, just before she fell. <laughs> <laughs> To receive the health benefits of a relaxing evening in, first you must change into something more comfortable. Right, we got to get dressed. Cool. <laughs> I mean, I've got to be honest with you. I'm already 30% happier than I was when I came in. Yeah. To lubricate your evening, please enjoy some Finnish drinks and snacks. But don't get too wasted now. I'm drawn to that. This one? Yeah. This does feel like it could be the beginning of a... Let's not fuck around. A pretty successful blue movie. <laughs> You've never seen The Goonies? No, and I've had lots of people say I look like that monster. I had three curries last weekend. Go on. I had three curries. Crap! Holy shit, Hawking just sparked out. Read! <laughs> Can I interest you in some, uh, some plop? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Not for the first time, I'm going to slip some plop in my mouth. <laughs> exactly. Not for the first time, I'm going to watch you slip some plop in your mouth. Plop's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the idea that this is some sort of um, cultural experiment is absolutely ridiculous. Spunk? <laughs> well, if you have some plop in your mouth, you may as well follow it with some spunk. <laughs> in for a penny. <laughs> in for some spunk. <laughs> Have you ever been to Finland? Never. I have. And? It was absolutely brilliant. Right. Did a gig there. Do you know what I saw just before I went on stage? I don't. A man catch a seagull with his hands. In order to <laughs> punish it? Yeah, and he, and he shouted, Hey! <laughs> like that. And then, and then threw it away. Because the seagull was trying to eat his chips. <laughs> How drunk get, are you now? A little bit drunk, yeah. yeah. I've just noticed we're hairy in very similar areas. I think? Yeah, cos I think neither of us is crazy hairy. No. But there's enough to suggest that we're men. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, there's the answer. Yeah, you, you're trimming, though. Oh, shit, yeah. I can do it. Oh! oh it's like it, <laughs> That is... Absolutely disgusting. Oh, no, we have to get rid of this one. <laughs> I'm not really much of a cuddler. What? No. Oh. Normally, if someone gets this close to me, Bam. you get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you um? Are you afraid of dying? I'm obsessed with. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm. A, I'll just pop this crust in my mouth before yeah. I answer you. Uh, I wouldn't say. I'm afraid of dying, because there's an inevitability to that that I can deal with. Yeah. But I am obsessed with it. Um, do you believe in the afterlife? Um, I don't believe in the afterlife, but I wish there were one. So do I. That's, the way, that's my vibe. I'm not a happy atheist. I, I don't understand how atheists can be so joyful. They're like, yeah, there is nothing we win. We lose everything. I can't believe how anyone can, can say they're a pure atheist. I, I don't see how you can say you're anything but agnostic. Yeah. Just because there's so much that we don't understand. Mm, you know, we it? could be in the teardrop of a giant, for all we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't make the horn noise. <laughs> I mean, this is a calendar shot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you son of a... Just come here and have a hug. Ah, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> Hello again. I hope you have enjoyed this little slice of Finnish life and you are now feeling super relaxed. So, has pants drunk? Has it worked for you? Yes, but if I'd done what I've done with you today, <laughs> yeah. alone, mm. I would be genuinely worried about myself. Mm. <laughs> what, what this has taught us is that one of the aspects of happiness is friendship. Friendship? But I think it was enhanced. Um, by the fact that we have taken our clothes off. I do think that. That mm. much I would concede. Do you think it's going to make us live longer? No, I mean, quite the reverse. But it's going <laughs> to make the time that we had on, on Earth seem more fun. 
I can barely string a sentence together at the minute. Here. <laughs> Put some more plop in your mouth. I don't think there's anyone finer in the world to enjoy putting plop in my mouth with. Thanks, mate. So one of the best jobs I've done. Plop, plop. Pop, plop. Pop, plop. <laughs>